What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey you guys. And right now we are at episode 19 of Lost Dos Ex Machina. Uh, last, uh, last episode was called Numbers. Machina. I was going to say hey. Machina. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, um, oh, that was good. Yeah, it was really good. Focused on uh, Hurley and uh, the numbers that he used to win the lottery. And he's worth 126 million. 56. $156 million. Mm. $156 million. Yeah. So you ready to get into this one? Yeah, I know I'm thinking because in the, <laughs> in the last episode, it was the beans and stuff. Right. And he calculated and it was the right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, All my right, brain is... Brain is gone. Mousetrap. <gasps> Again. And Hurley was the 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 the, 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 the owner of the, of the box company. How do you play? Well, you start with all these parts off the board, and then one by one, you build the trap. Look at his face. Shoe, bucket, tub. Piece by piece, it all comes together. Look, she got it. wait till your opponent. Lands here on the lawyer from Larry Larry. Wheel, and then if you set it up just right, you spring the trap. Go ahead, kiddo. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes. Um, could you tell me where the footballs are? Yeah. Um, I'll eight for regulation, I'll fifteen for nerve. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this one he's about to lose his dog on. Fit him in his knees. All we gotta do is break the glass. Then we're in. Trebuchet delivers half a ton of force. Why do they call it a trebuchet? It looks like a catapult. It's called a trebuchet, bro. Mm. Because it's a trebuchet. He's been over there making the whole daggone mouse trap. Like Cody means you know, so you're an engineer. I don't think I can spell trebuchet. There's a T on the end. I'm serious, John. He said he didn't think he could spell it. He said there's a T on the end. Two weeks, you <laughs> never talk about yourself. Everybody's got a story. My story would bore you. Three, two, one. This was supposed to work! Uh -oh. This was supposed to work! John! You like, man? Sleeping? Oh! And he didn't feel it. I'm fine. Trebuchet. Why didn't it work? It didn't work because it wasn't strong enough. I don't think that glass is going to break, man. Whatever it's made out of. Everything breaks if you apply the right force. So we're just going to build another one of your inventions until it works this time. That's right. What if it doesn't? Then the island will tell us what to do. What's that? son or I'm founding but you're adopted aren't you no no I was raised in a foster home not well several foster homes actually look I don't mean to be rude what do you want from me I want to tell you that you're special very special 
You're part of a design. You do realize that, don't you? That our meeting, me finding you, this is a sign of things to come. Great things. So he's special. Well, well special. Is he still alive? Still alive? Oh, John. Don't you understand? You don't have a father. You were immaculately conceived. You were right. <laughs> it's Jesus. <laughs> Which one? That one. You're sure? Because this is the one I've been using and nothing's happening. I'm sorry, it's not helping. It's not helping. But he has headaches. Doesn't the guy have like a truckload of aspirin stashed away somewhere? He says aspirin didn't help. Can I ask you a question? I might have a question. Mm -hmm. So you're having bad headaches every day. You okay? Yeah, fine. So who are we talking about then, Kate? Sawyer. Uh-huh. I just think there might be something really wrong with him. Well, what does he think? He says he's fine, but... Then I... he's fine. Yeah, you know, well, he could be playing it down. There could Look, be something... Kate, I love nothing more than to check the guy out and make sure he's okay. Well, we both know all I'm going to get from my trouble is a snappy one-liner. And if I'm real lucky, a brand new nickname. I'm just over it. I think I'm done working, John. Mm. I'm sorry, what? This is useless. You can't open that thing up. You say you can, but you can't. Now don't tell me what I can't do. Don't you get it? It's dead end. You're not getting in. That's impossible. We didn't find this by accident. We're supposed oh, to. Oh, we're supposed to. We're supposed to find this, right? We're supposed to open it, right? Then tell me something, John. If we're supposed to open it, then why the hell haven't we opened it yet? The island will send us a sign. The island will send us a sign. All that's happening now is our faith is being tested, our commitment. But we will open it. The island will show us how. What kind of sign will the island send us? Huh, John? Boar tusk. tusk. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's about to crash. Did you see that? Boom! Do you see it? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Don't take it back! Who is Teresa? So, she's my mother. I lifted some hairs from her car and matched them with your DNA samples. It's 99% certain. Mm. She was institutionalized a few times. What for? So nothing criminal or violent. It's a type of schizophrenia. Apparently, if she stays on a med, she's okay. What about my father? Here's the thing. Your mother sought you out, so she's fair game. But this guy... Maybe he doesn't even know you exist. Mm. I've done this enough times to know this stuff isn't meant to be, even though it may feel that way. But this probably won't have a happy ending. Punch <laughs> book! Your name is? John. John Locke. I'm Anthony Cooper's son. Mr. Cooper doesn't have a son. Tell him I, I don't want anything. My mother is Emily Locke. Please? Just a minute. Yeah, Mr. Cooper, I got John Locke here. Says he's your son. Yes, sir. Well, you can go on in, sir. 